Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey YouTube, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is your Geek Out for Thursday, May 24th, 2012. I wanted to remind everybody that we are sponsored by GoToAssist, and if you have to provide world-class remote support for computers inside of your organization, there's no easier way to do it than with GoToAssist. Head over to GoToAssist.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code Perillo. Why I like Windows 8, a subject of a blog post over on LockerGnome.com, and I guess the list kind of goes on and on. Now, I know we've talked about why we would hate to see Windows 8 ship in its current state, but what's there to love? The start screen, new task manager, native USB 3 support. We also have storage spaces, better multi-display support, Hyper-V, native ISO mounting, new copy dialog, PC refresh, file history, Windows to go, integrated sky drives, and I'm just gonna stop right there. Subject of another post, can you be happy with a cheap Android tablet? So would you rather spend more money and have a great experience or spend more money and still have a not very great experience. Now that's not to say I hate Android at all. Everybody wants something different. We've got a few tips listed if you wanna have a better Google Plus Hangout experience. Number one, pay attention. Number two, don't be afraid to block somebody. Hopefully not me. Read people's profiles and circle interesting people. And then of course, give everybody an opportunity to speak, which I realize may be difficult if you ever get into a hangout with me. Common Facebook annoyances and how to fix them. And no, I'm not talking about shutting down your Facebook account altogether. Adding and subtracting friends. Why would you add someone if you didn't know who they were? In fact, my dad is one of those people. I get friend requests because people are friends with my dad. My dad doesn't know who these people are. At least I hope he doesn't know who these people are. Five things to check. Sorry, my hand kind of got out of frame. Five things to check before you start using your camcorder. Number one, white balance. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't check your screen because I'm, no, I'm really this white. Brightness, lighting, and video gain is another suggestion made in this particular article. Audio levels and background noise. Then of course, you should always check your battery level and then always consider buying a spare because you never know when you're going to need it. If I only had one battery, I'd roar. Google Plus for Android update brings a new look, now lets you start Hangouts from your phone. There was a problem with the iPhone. Even though it was working just fine before, suddenly it just stopped working and now it magically starts working on Android? Nah, it's not a conspiracy. Not at all. More Facebook news for you. There's a new Facebook app called Facebook Camera and that lets you take pictures and upload them to Facebook. Or you can upload more than just one picture at a time to Facebook. So I guess it makes things a bit easier, but it's a little puzzling since, you know, they just bought Instagram. Bump got an update today, and if you haven't tried Bump, it's a free application you can use on either iOS or Android to allow you to more easily transfer photos and contacts back and forth between devices. The new update allows you to load up the Bump website, bu.mp, in a web browser, select photos in the Bump app, and I'm going to select this one of Wicket with a throwboy pillow, and then tap the space bar with your phone to confirm. There's the space bar, I connect to the Mac. No other software installed, the photo was magically transferred from my phone to the web browser. So if you haven't tried it yet, give it a shot. Questions from the community. Danny J. Shui 45 on YouTube asks, so does this mean you need to change your icon to having a mustache? I'm going to give it a few more weeks and then if it still looks like I'm in high school, then it's gone. Southeast PA Car Shows on YouTube asked, how do you manage to make so many videos on a daily basis? Well, if you think about it, I'm only really doing two. We're doing the Geek Out video, that's edited, and then we're doing the vlog, which is a series of shorter videos compiled into one. Rybread761 on LockerGnome.net asks, what's your opinion on Sockle? So oh, that social, I no, it's so.cl. How the hell do you pronounce that? I, I don't have an opinion on it. Snoopaz1 on YouTube asked, Chris, do you ever use your iMac? Because I've never seen it on. I do use it frequently, although what I use on the iMac I don't tend to share with other people. Not to say that I'm doing things on the iMac that I shouldn't be doing, just that uh, it's just there for spare computer cycles. Aaron XLV on YouTube asked, how many minifigs do you own? I'm assuming you're referring to the Lego minifigs, because I really don't know any other kind of minifig that's out there. Uh, I have a few. And by few, I mean a few hundred. I don't think I'm at a thousand yet, but I haven't bothered to count. And to tell you the truth, I'm a little afraid because Diana's about one digit away from completing the call to hoarders. 
Julianne N. Gilato on YouTube asked, does it feel weird holding up the camera to your face in public? Just wondering. You kind of get used to it. Uh, the thing I try to avoid is getting other people in the frame because we didn't really get their permission to put them in the video. Uh, and it's also good to have Diana with me because she kind of guides me along and makes sure I don't get hit by cars or anything. Rodney CA08 on YouTube asked, where is the full video? This is it, dude. PSA LZR on YouTube asked, have you felt the need to park outside of school in a white van since you grew that mustache? Really guys? This is the topic of conversation, the hair on my face, nothing else is important to talk about. I do have iTunes U pulled up and I guess that's kind of a school. So yes, I, I guess I have felt the need to park outside of school. Steve Carr on YouTube asked, do you run Linux on your Mac? And if so, what distro do you run? Alden Lapenig on YouTube asked, Hi Chris, how do you organize your daily routine? Do you have time to clean the house? I don't know, It's to me it's, it's like a question like, how do you breathe, Chris? I just do. Bayron Urbina on YouTube asked, Hey there Chris, I was wondering what type of glasses you're wearing, like the model and brand. Honestly, I, I don't know, It's it, they've rubbed off. James Swanson, also known as Tech Guru from Nomies, asked, When you started Locker Gnome, how big did you think it would get? Not as big as my ego, as some would claim, but I really wasn't expecting much. It took off pretty quick, and before I knew it, I was distributing information to 100,000 people, which, back in the day, and we were talking before I was on Tech TV, that was a pretty big number. You know, I've continued to mold Locker Gnome into what the community wants it to be, and we found this to be the same in YouTube as well. So as we started producing more vlogs, the amount of likes we received jumped compared to the amount of likes we receive from our regular old tech videos. So in many ways, you are letting me know if you want this to stay. Geek Pride Day is coming up to celebrate. Remember, we're working with Modus and Think Geek. Head over to facebook.com slash Modus to find out if today you could be the recipient of a USB power strip and Brick Brights, which are interlocking bricks that work with Lego bricks, even though they're not made by the Lego group. And then, as if I was finished, sticky notes in the shape of classic floppy disks. Not the big old floppy disk, you know, the three and a half inch floppy disks. Plus a NES, SNES portable controller that you can plug in those old cartridges, but I don't have one on hand because they were so popular. You could get those prizes today. Honey, these don't count as Lego bricks, I swear. Don't, don't call them, don't call them. We'll eat you later. I think that's how you say it. I think it's Soggle. You can't just call it social. CL. When has CL ever been pronounced shul?